you can now stream on two platforms for free with Streamlabs. So you could stream on Twitch or Kick in landscape mode and then use the vertical canvas to stream on TikTok or YouTube. Let's quickly set this up. Firstly, you obviously need a TikTok stream key for this. The only current way to get one is by joining a TikTok live agency. Luckily, these are free to join and I've made a list of them. That list is in the description. Agencies are country based. If you're in the UK, I'm actually starting my own agency right now. So if you're UK based, I've put that in the description as well. If you can't get a stream key, you can still combine Streamlabs and Live Studio. So for example, you could go live on Twitch and YouTube using Streamlabs and then live on TikTok with Live Studio. I'll show you how to do this later on. So to start, you obviously need Streamlabs desktop. Just head to the website in the description and download it. Now we want it to look like this with the vertical canvas. So here's how to get it. Head into settings in the bottom left, then click onto video and make sure dual output is checked. If you have a mid-range or high-end PC, these are the settings you want. This is horizontal and this is vertical. Basically you get a 60 FPS 1080p stream in both. If you've got a lower end PC, I recommend lower it to 720 on both of these options, as well as lowering the FPS to 30. And if you think your PC is really bad, lower the horizontal stream to 720p on both options as well. While you're in the settings, click onto audio. Just check that audio device one is the correct device. So for me, that's my Cloud2 wireless headset. Likewise, make sure you've got the correct mic detected. For me, that's the quadcast. On the output settings, you want something like this. Just keep in mind, it's probably actually gonna use double list bitrate. That's because it has to send both the horizontal and the vertical canvas. And while you're here, click on the stream. You can add two platforms for free. If you wanna add more than two, you need Streamlabs Ultra. I'll put my affiliate link, which will give you $9 off the first month in the description. If you wanna add your TikTok stream key, you'll have to scroll down, click on add destination. And then like I've done, just give it a name, give it the correct URL and the stream key. And don't forget, it changes every time. Once you're happy with all your settings, just press done. Now let's quickly set up your Streamlabs. If you need a blank scene, press the plus button, make a blank scene. Before we add anything, I'm gonna click next to the mic and I'm gonna click on filters, click on edit filters, click on add filters, find the noise suppression one, press add, then underneath method, you either want NVIDIA noise removal or RN noise. Just press close when you've got one of those added. That's just gonna remove background noise like AC or computer fans. Anyway, now let's add our display and camera. Underneath sources, hit the plus button and the two you want is video capture device for your camera. But first, add the display capture to show your screen. So now obviously you wanna rearrange everything and you need it looking different in horizontal and vertical. To rearrange things under these sources, just click on what you wanna move. So I'll start by clicking onto my camera. I've already moved it in the horizontal output, but in the vertical one, I wanna shrink it down. So I'm just gonna drag the box to shrink it down and I'll play around with it until it's fitting on the screen. I'm now gonna position my display capture by clicking on it and then dragging it. And I'm just gonna position it directly beneath the camera like that. Little hack here, let's right click, transform and center horizontally to center it perfectly. If I wanted to hide something from either horizontal or vertical, then you just hover over the source that you wanna hide and click to hide it in the relevant mode. So for example, let's hide the webcam in landscape mode. I also highly recommend you add in your TikTok alerts if you're not using Tickfinity for your alerts, I'll put my quick guide in the description. All you have to do is add the relevant screen as a browser source inside Streamlabs. So that's the browser source here. And while you're there, you probably wanna add in your alert box for your Twitch and YouTube alerts. In a minute, we'll look at some important settings for when you actually go live. But first, just quickly, if you want advice to monetize and grow your live streams, I send out free advice with my newsletter every Friday. It's linked in the description. So when you wanna go live with Streamlabs, just hit go live in the bottom right corner. And I highly recommend at the bottom, show advanced settings. If you wanna go live on more than two platforms, you'll need Streamlabs Ultra. You can use my affiliate link to get $9 off the first month. So for me, I'm gonna go live on all the platforms I've got. So I'm gonna check my TikTok box and I'm gonna use YouTube's new vertical streaming feature and I'm gonna stream in vertical mode on TikTok and of course, horizontal on Twitch. 
Then you will just fill in all the relevant settings and hit confirm and go live. Don't forget that the TikTok stream key changes every time you have to go into the live producer to get it. And then you'll have to edit it inside the stream settings to the correct key. I mentioned that Streamlabs Ultra gives you access to multi-streaming on three to seven platforms. Another benefit of Ultra is you get access to hundreds of cool looking themes, as well as matching alert boxes for your Twitch or YouTube streams. So once again, that is multi-streaming to seven platforms plus cool graphics. If you want to check that out, you can use my affiliate link to get $9 off the first month. Now I mentioned earlier, you can still use this to stream on TikTok, even if you don't have a stream key. Here's how to do that. What you would do is you would use the dual output to stream to Twitch in horizontal mode and YouTube in vertical mode. And then we're gonna head into the settings, click on virtual webcam, start the virtual webcam. And unfortunately it only gives us the landscape virtual webcam, but head into live studio, click on add source, click on camera, click on add. There's a lot of different options on my list here, but I'm looking for Streamlabs desktop virtual webcam. Click the drop down list and choose one of the 60 FPS options. Click on add source and then click onto it and full screen it. I'll just quickly re-enable my second webcam. And if we click back onto Live Studio, you can see Streamlabs and Live Studio are now outputting the same thing. So now you could just hit go live and you're now live on TikTok as well as Twitch and YouTube. And by the way, if you want just the camera, for example, if you have Live Studio in vertical mode, just click onto it, press the Alt key and drag the little squares and crop it so it's just showing your camera like that. So that is streaming on two platforms for free with Streamlabs. I mentioned Tickfinity, watch this guide here to learn a lot more about it.